Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back uh, to another video. Earlier this week I posted a quick vertical video for my phone at the gas station asking you guys what camera gear should I bring on this trip? So I wanted to just make a quick update video. This one's gonna be called What's in My Bag. I think everyone calls these videos What's in My Bag, which is not original. Maybe I'll call it something else. Anyways, the trip, here's what's going on. So behind me in the corner here is a camper. It's a camper my buddy has, bought it, used it for a year. Wanted bigger, bought a fifth wheel, so he's letting us use it for free, which is really awesome. Anyways, we're in Michigan, Metro Detroit area here, and we're gonna be taking the camper up to Burt Lake over the next couple days. Um, so I'm looking to get some landscape shots while I'm up there, shots of the kids around the bonfire, camping stuff, um, just, just kind of stuff like that. So might need something a little bit wider and maybe some depth of field type stuff where I can compress a little bit the background and, and get one of those more artistic shots. That's kind of what I'm thinking a little bit. Um, and then from Burt Lake, we're going up to Ishpeming, Michigan, which is near Marquette. It's just towards the top of the Upper Peninsula, which is up there we're staying in this like super old rustic cabin that doesn't even have running water. It's got an outhouse, which is why we're bringing the camper, one of the reasons we're bringing the camper. And same thing up there, like it's just kind of, it's, if it's Northern Michigan, there's, you guys know what I'm talking about. There's, there's waterfalls, there's an old cottage, there's a lake up there. Just some cool stuff to take photos of. So my my entire goal on this trip is to vlog just quickly, nothing like over the top, not huge cinematic deals, just capture the moments um, on a vlog style video of the trip and then take photos of the family, kids, landscapes, and whatever else you come across. So that's that's my, my goal. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I had a decision to make. I put a video up, a vertical video, and I asked you guys what I should do. Um, not that many of you responded, but a couple of you did. So here's what I ended up going with and deciding to use. So to start, I'm gonna do all my vlogging on this guy right here. See this? That is the DJI Osmo Action. And the reason why I'm doing this is because you don't wanna be that annoying guy around your family the whole weekend that's got this big camera like the EOS RP, which isn't that big, but big in the terms of carrying things around in front of the family all the time. So this thing right here, wide field of view, just go, it's super simple, it can get wet. No big deal. This is gonna be the vlogging rig for my trip. But in terms of photos, I wanted to stay small here again, and I'm gonna bring my Panasonic Lumix GX85. Um, and I actually like this camera quite a bit because it's small, it's compact, it's got sensor stabilization, the screen tilts, it doesn't flip, doesn't rotate, doesn't articulate, doesn't have a mic input, but it has a viewfinder, um, it takes great images. And the lens I have on here, is the Panasonic 20 millimeter f1.7 lens. This thing's amazing. It's a little pancake lens, keeps the package really slim. I can put it in my pocket. It's got a wide aperture to get some shell depth of field. Fantastic lens. This lives on the camera most of the time. But for those moments, let me put this down actually. But for some of those longer shots or uh, needs a more compressed background or portrait style photos, something with a little bit shallower depth of field. I'm going with the Mzuiko 45 millimeter f1.8 lens from my Canon, or I'm sorry, my Olympus camera. This thing right here actually is pretty small for 90 millimeter equivalent field of view. Let me pull this thing out of here. And if you look, put this bad boy on here. Still a very, very, shallow, or a very, very small package. And this thing takes amazing photos as well. So these two lenses are very, very small, on a small camera body, fit in my pocket for the most part, and get some amazing photos. So that's what I am bringing with me on my trip. And I think what I wanna do is try to capture enough photos to make like a vacation travel like zine or book to kind of put on a coffee table in our house or something like that. We're gonna be gone for six days in total. And they also wanna have, you know, four or five days of vlogs off the DJI Osmo action. That's kind of my goal. So just want to share that guys with you guys, some of the gearheads, um, what I'm choosing and leaving the EOS RP at home, which technically you know has the bigger sensor and better for low light type stuff. But even with the RP being small, I'm going micro four thirds for this trip. The images, the 16 megapixel sensor, I can't talk. The 16 megapixel sensor is by far away enough to make a little vacation zine. So. No big deal. Just wanna share that with you guys. Let me know below if you think I made the right choice, if you think I made the wrong choice. The other camera I didn't picture for you guys is the Canon 8E1 film camera. I was really tempted to just bring that and the Osmo Action because shooting film just slows me way down. But 
I wanted to have the assurance of my photos and the ability and flexibility and raw to make some adjustments if I get some really good shots and, and that whole thing. So maybe next trip, just a, a film camera. I really like shooting film a lot because it just slows you down, like I said. Maybe next time. So anyways, comments below what do you guys think. Um, Amazon links, affiliate links below. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just go somewhere else. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Can you do it again?